Hey everybody, Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World Electronics. I'm going to build a mobile battery capacity testing station. This is going to be solar powered and mobile on a piece of wood that I can move and carry and set down wherever I want out of my way and it does not have to be on my workbench and it's uninterruptible. A problem with my current system, if I plug it into the power grid, our power grid is very, very, very unstable recently in the last weeks and it browns out all the time. If you're doing a battery capacity test and you get a brownout, the whole device resets and you have to start all over again, recharge your batteries, which takes hours, and then start the test again. Brown out, lose it again. It could take weeks to get a battery tested. So with our off-grid solar power system, our main household system, often we have uh, low power days and I shut the whole system down to let the batteries rest sometimes. Also not the best. And I don't want to have it tied into where my power comes out at various points in the house. It's very awkward to tie into the solar power and have my power ports tied up with this. So making it portable and using a really cool little um, USB. This is a dual USB 18650 battery um, control station. So it takes, well, any number of lithium ion 3.7 volt batteries and the input has a charging micro USB charging port charge the battery and two USB outputs. One is 2.1 amps and one is 1 amp. Really cool. Power switch, LED light. I'm going to mount this permanently on here and digital display which is great. I can turn this on right now. Three seconds and we have power. Really nice looking display. 94% battery capacity and it's got, let me see, I can see if I hold it at an angle. It shows the um, USB outputs what are on it or, or off or if it's in or output. I'm guessing it can't charge and discharge at the same time. I'm not sure. Um, it doesn't say a thing about that, so I guess we're going to find out. But I'm going to mount this on the board. I've got the hot glue gun heating up because I couldn't find a way, find a way to mount this. I was going to use standoffs and motherboard screws and all that and be all fancy, but nope. The screw holes in the motherboard are too small. So we'll hot glue it on. I've got this screwed on, but I'm going to hot glue it in place so it doesn't wobble around. And I experimented with some uh, a U uh, USB multiplayer, one to four, and had four of these lit up. Let me show you. Interesting. Just sticking in a USB port, turned on the device. And lights up these. So this is going to work out, I think. There is the power part of the board done. As you can see, I love hot glue. It makes everything stick nice and neat and stay in place. I've drilled holes for five. I'm going to probably put two more later. I have seven. But I only have uh, enough USB wires for now for five. But anyway... I have to put larger standoffs and motherboard washers in order to fit them because the only screws I could get at the hardware store were a little bit too long for my needs at this time. I figure I can always replace them later but I don't want to wait around any longer to get started on this. There's the back side. I had to put two motherboard washers per screw on the back. As I said, they're too long. Well, there's five on so far. I got room for two more. I just got to get screws later. And I actually have two more sitting right there. So uh, the next thing I have to do is get the resistors on here and get them out of the way. And I also want to have heat sinks on them. Now, out of convenience and ease of work, I bought 50 uh, alligator clamps, leads, so that I could just cut them 
and have a perfect little setup here. So I'm going to use them. This was like ten dollars, and I've got a, it's cheaper than buying alligator clamps. So it, it's less work. I just cut them, strip them, and screw them in. Done. Right now I'm setting up the resistors. I'm trying to make them all look the same and make it look nice as well as I can. And then when I'm done I'll put on the heat sinks. So I put on a little bit of thermal paste and then I take the resistor out of here, put it on to the cooler, and then I zip tie it in place. And it looks like this when it's done. And there's my board so far. So, now I have decided I'm going to drill holes for the USB cables to come through so it looks better. Well guys, there it is so far. I still got to get the screws, but that's it for this project, for this video, and for this day. I love this. I just have to hit that button. Uh, get my finger on it. I'm left. Hand. I'm right. Use my right hand. And then I get the uh, battery capacity right there, 85%. Pretty cool. And uh, I've got my capacity, battery capacity testers all running and working. And it tells me the um, battery capacity then the current being drawn at the time and then the battery's current voltage so the milliamp hours being drawn or that have been drawn so far the current being drawn through it like when there is 0.495 and the battery is at 3.71 volts and it's pulled 238 milliamp hours of capacity when they're done they'll just sit there and flash the total battery capacity and they'll wait for you forever I love it I love it they don't reset they just wait for you so all of this is sourced from Amazon, and boy, I can feel the warmth. I'm going to get, uh, there's some future upgrades on here. I'm going to get a little fan and have a little bit of air blowing past just to reduce the uh, temperature a little bit and increase the life of the resistors just that much more. But um, even the, the alligator clips were sourced from Amazon, the boards, the charging circuit everything is it was all very affordable this whole board didn't cost much at all so that's it for today I'm gonna to add the two new circuits on another video and add some cooling fans I've got everything prepared and drilled and positioned and ready to go and uh, that'll be it oh and another future upgrade instead of using these USB splitter wires because I'm gonna have seven and I've only got four here and in another slot on the charger I'm going to have I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna make my own USB splitter so that'll be another project when I finish this board and that's it for today hope you like this video please uh, give me a thumb up give me a like leave a comment below and uh, check out the parts down below they're really affordable and get your own it wasn't uh, wasn't bad to do this. It was very, very enjoyable and fun. Well, thanks for watching, guys. This is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World Electronics. Talk to you later.